You're like, oh, this is good. Let me hit record. Well, I just hit record when you said that. All right. So. Well, well. <laughs> Sorry, you no, missed, missed everything. I think you the missed everything. Gone. Magic's gone. We just had a huge fucking blowout. I think Farrell's quitting the group about <laughs> an argument about space. Don't fucking get dark matter. That's my problem. Of course you don't get dark matter. By its very nature, you don't get it. It's just yeah, you there. Can't, you can't perceive it. It can only be perceived by its gravity. Shit. It's an absence. Oh. That, that was really deep and weighty. Yeah. So welcome back to Dragon Age role-playing game here on Y Caliber. <laughs> Speaking of deep and weighty, <laughs> I'm Matt, your guide, and we're joined by our GM, Jared. So you shouldn't make fun of yourself like that. Uh, what can you do? We also have Matt playing Arista. Hello, how is everybody? I just had a really long argument about space with Feral. Oh my and god, no I one cares. I don't <laughs> want to have this discussion again. You know, you never responded to all the people who uh, answered your question on the last couple videos. Oh, did they? They did. See, I just, I, I'm on he, like, what Twitter. He doesn't actually read the comments <laughs> it's or I can. ever watch the videos. I can read. I use dragon <laughs> text to speech. Read. And I just like to get that first comment in now and again. And then I disappear <laughs> back into the shadows. Oh yes, the old bluff and faint. Uh, speaking of bluff and faint, we're also joined by Farrell playing Kana. Hello. And uh, Wait, what was that supposed to mean? Steven Sadal playing Nero. Space is not of the cune. Of course, uh, we can't forget Mike playing Roland Delay. Sure, I'm here. And uh, D. Davis is not here for personal reasons, unfortunately. Sure, sure, am here. <laughs> Well, somebody has to say it. And we left off asleep in an inn. By the way, the whole argument thing was just total bullshit. We're just driving up our own numbers. Just so you know. Can't why, let people why... peek behind the curtain like that, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. You broke Next. Cape Abe. Next so... you're going to be telling them, oh, we're not really at a tabletop. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys wake up. Um... And you all come downstairs to find uh, Aresta still awake at the bar. He's playing chess a, with having, four people at once. <laughs> having a debate about something called dark matter. <laughs> God damn it. I think the term is night soil. No, 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 no. It's called nightshade. No, 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 no. that's another thing. That's another thing entirely. No, no, he's, he's having some something about gravity and like none of you can even come close to following what they're talking about you they're, know the gravity of it all they're actually talking about dark matter the uh, campaign setting for alternity please so leave <laughs> <laughs> so uh Roland, do you know the way to the local warden keep here oh yes i used to play around it when i was a boy Really? Uh, maybe. <laughs> what an what, odd what? thing to say! No. Okay. <laughs> the, the Imperial Palace? No. <laughs> nope, never mind. Never allowed within 50 feet. <laughs> well, I guess we should set out and see if we can gain audience there. We all ready to go, Arresta? Can you, can you finish up over there? I'm just... I just knew... <laughs> I don't know, they all checkmated me at once, the bastards, let's go! Oh, good, he sobered up. Off we go, then. No! No! <laughs> okay, make another constitution drinking test, Arresta, please. No. And, and no, Farrell. Oh. <laughs> that would have been funny, though. <laughs> okay, okay Arresta's like... not doing too good. <laughs> Can't it just be like, oh, it's over here. <laughs> How do you know? It's a secret. Well, if you guys are trying to find the Imperial Palace, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty yeah. easy to find. It's the yeah. biggest building. We'll just go there. I'm being silly. You have to let me have my moments. <laughs> Don't really, though. That's the thing. You never do. 
Oh, you've got moments. Remember that time your friend stabbed you and kicked you off a building? <laughs> <laughs> that was the time I almost got killed again. Speaking of Kaneth almost getting killed, let's go to the Imperial Palace in Orlais. Wait, why would they get me killed? <laughs> because you're an elf in Orlais. But we're wardens together. He's got a point. It's not like I want you to get killed. I'm just saying, statistically. I'm just saying, statistically, I'll haunt your ass. That's cool. You know, I get lonely at times. Uh, I'll be the force ghost you never wanted. <laughs> a force ghost? What are you talking about? <laughs> There's these things called midichlorians, you see. No. How far is it no. to the Imperial Palace? <laughs> <laughs> like a few hours away, or like a half hour walk? Yeah. Can we yeah, take the no. metro? No. Okay. Uh, the city is bustling, and there's noise and music. Um, you, one thing you can pick out uh, above all of the other sounds is that the chant of light is constantly being sung. In the in the the great chantry. Oh, no, I'm definitely. And it, all, it sort of it sort of carries over everything else. I cannot explain enough how hard Kaneth is rolling her eyes. I am definitely a hundred percent familiar with that chant. Hopefully, they get water breaks. <laughs> I think they tag out. Yeah, it's probably like a round robin. I guess uh, uh, the, I guess they're pretty big into the maker here. Well, this is the heart of the Andraste Enchantry. Yeah, well, they must be pretty upset that Andraste was a was from uh, Ferelden. I they, think that's... they they gloss they make exceptions. Part. Yeah, they 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 kind of omit that when they feel like it. They sure do. It's an inconvenient truth. Just like how she was hey, ass assisted by an elf. Yeah, <laughs> good friends with the elves. Mm-hmm. So, do we run into any uh, troublemakers? Not really. Most people avoid you because of you have Nirum the giant with you. Oh, that's good. He's a good pest deterrent. Mm. Oh. oh. Hmm. And uh, eventually, you guys are able to wind your way through all the hustle and bustle uh, up towards the Imperial Palace. Uh, the outer walls of the palace are sort of abut the city. So, you know, there's people. There's like a large uh, large square there. And, you know, stuff set up because of the, the festival. And there's a bunch of guards at the gate. Hi there. You need, uh, need to get in to see the Grey Wardens. And who are you? We're also Grey Wardens. I'm Amic Fane. The guard looks at him. <sighs> Amic Fane, huh? That's me. Alright, we'll send word inside. He goes over towards the guardhouse. There's a couple of young kids hanging out there, basically. He sends one off as a runner. And then they make you wait for like 20 minutes. Amic lowers his straw hat over his eyes and takes a nap. <laughs> Why are those kids loitering? <laughs> uh, the messenger kid comes back. He says something to the guard. And he looks at you. He says, Well then, Warden Fane. Yes? You and the rest of your uh, group are allowed up. Thank you. And I let you in. You've been very helpful. Have a good day. Being our lays, I'm sure he's disgusted by the politeness. Can't let yourself, you know. No, they like they like the superficial politeness generally. They're all just expecting me to immediately stab them in the back. <laughs> I'm so polite all the time. 
Except when I'm threatening people's mothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's a bit of a trudge up the hill to the palace. There's more guards, like, everywhere. Uh, all the guards are in purple and gold. And they wear oh, masks. You see lots of masks around, really. Did you ever find your uh, yourself a new mask, Roland? No, I suppose I shall have to commission the finest mask drawer in the kingdom to make me a new one. Well, it'll be nice. I'm sure it'll help you feel, you know, happier. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I I'm, think I'm sure you've missed Orlé. Uh, you'd think so. No? Oh, don't get me wrong. It is the greatest light of civilization, and your paltry attempts do pale before its magnanimous... Mag... Mag... You know that word. Magnanimity. magnanimity. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, but the more I stay here, the more I remember how much I cannot stand my countrymen. Oh. And they, me. Well, I'm sure that's part of the reason you found you left. <laughs> uh, yes, I totally left by choice. That's true. <laughs> so as you guys are, are reaching the actual doors of the palace, can I get some perception seeing checks? Roland's so engrossed in talking about himself, he doesn't notice a damn thing. <laughs> See, I love making you guys make perception checks because they're the one time that Nirim doesn't roll like a 30. <laughs> <laughs> Which is suitable. Uh, yeah, so Nirim, Roland, don't notice. Aresta and Amek, you see someone waiting for you at the gate? Or at the door? Is it Blacktail? Uh, Kaneth, you can identify the figure more more than the others can. It's a, it's a tall humanoid uh, wearing armor. Slender, though, like not like, probably not a man. Okay. It's Duncan. Duncan's a man. It's Duncan. <laughs> He's back from Thailand. <laughs> Inappropriate. Um, yeah, so as you guys get closer, you see the figures, a woman in armor. Okay. Um, it's very, is, you know, brightly polished plate uh, over with with the two griffin symbol on the chest of a warden commander uh, over, you know, blue and over blue and gray padding. This is where I look over to Hagrim to see what the actual etiquette is for meeting a warden commander. Like, do we salute? It's pretty. It's pretty loose, really. There's not a not a huge amount of protocol to stand on. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you as know. as you get closer, she's a a tall human woman. She thinks she's maybe six foot four. Pretty <laughs> tall then, yeah. Um, finally, a woman of appropriate height. <laughs> <laughs> Near him, likes him tall. <laughs> Like some short. <laughs> and, uh, oh right. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. Um, you know, she's got a a long sword. Shield. So near him. So she's she's oh, she oh, is oh. fully kitted out at the moment. Um. But can I get perception empathy checks? Wow, that's a good roll, Kaneth. Yeah. Kaneth, when you... When she, like... She looks over you guys, and there's something really just not right in her eyes. Look for her like, skull. Like, just, just looking at her, you know she's crazy. 
Oh, man. Roland knows right. that look very well. He can't wait to have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she yes. doesn't really say anything, just kind of keeps that uncomfortable shift going. So I'll uh, call out and say, uh, Warden Commander Alicia? <laughs> that is I. Oh, what a relief. You are, you are Duncan's latest little group of whelps. I well, that wasn't nice. Uh, I suppose that's one way of of saying it. Yes, we're the commanders from Ferelden, not the the wardens from Ferelden. Well, he did always like a certain ragtagness to his wardens. Well, unfortunately, he had to leave on business before we could be properly outfitted. Maybe you could help us with that at some point. Perhaps. Why have you come to Orlais? That's a good question. Um, because we're trying to track down Blackfell, and also we think that she's in league with him. I know. We can't say <laughs> yeah, that to her. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, oh, we're chasing exactly you down. That, that is exactly what Niram would say if he was the front man for this party. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Uh, well, we've been pursuing a Maleficar who's using blood magic to control people in uh, Denerim. Well, that's hardly the purview of the Grey Wardens, is it? It's a job for the Templars. Well, normally I'd agree, but with that level of control and the huge Darkspawn horde underground, I'm somewhat concerned that he may be using those powers to uh, you know, direct them to get up to some mischief. You believe that this is somehow involved with the dark spawn? I'm not going to discount the possibility. Hmm. Duncan always told us a Grey Warden should discount nothing. Is that you saying that out loud? <laughs> yeah, we're just going to make up shit that Duncan said from now on. She's kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna start up a Twitter, shit Duncan said. <laughs> <laughs> and the last uh, we heard is that he was possibly heading in this direction. It would be foolish of a Maleficar to head towards the center of the Chantry's power. It would be foolish to become a Maleficar. And yet, there they are. Well, some must do whatever they can, grasp at whatever tools are at their disposal in order to accomplish their goals. You'll learn that as a Grey Warden if you survive. Well, hopefully we'll survive long enough to die of old age. Ah. Uh, it's unlikely. Uh, a man can dream. Has Duncan not told you of the calling? I can't remember if we learned about the calling or not. Uh, he Hegram uh, told us. Hegram told Hegram us. Told yes, you. we all know about it. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we're familiar yeah, with Yeah, we calling. know. We're gonna die real soon. <laughs> oh no, the tears won't come. <laughs> <laughs> Very yes, well. We're, we're familiar with, with how this all ends. Very well then. If you're so set on finding this Maleficar, what can you tell me about them? Well, let's see. They're a dog. I'm not being <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh my god, best thing Nerima said all day. He did. Uh, he did dog. once use magic to disguise himself as a dog for quite some time. So that was a little bit strange. 
And uh, he also was in contact with uh, some people who were possibly here in Orlais, which is why we came this way. He has, uh, yeah, he has bad hair. Her eyes flit to your hairline and then back to your face. <laughs> It was bad hair, not no hair. Amic winks. Down there. <laughs> what? Uh. I don't want to tell her the name Blacktail because then she'll kill us. <laughs> You're already dead. But anyone's free to jump in, you know. I gave my cutting remarks already. You did, thank you. <laughs> well, if you're so set on this fool's errand, allow me to provide some assistance. Oh, thank you. The sooner we have you back to where you belong, I think the better we'll all feel. I couldn't agree more. So you have nothing else to go by? Well, he was posing as a Maleficon. he was posing as a gray warden while he was in Denerim. Indeed. Yes. That's another reason why we felt it was in our interests to not posing. Well, he was claiming to be a gray warden. Yes. At this point, Nira will have to recount the tale that uh, you know Blacktail actually seemed to know the uh, ritual. Quite knowledgeable. It's kind of a secret, though, so how else would you know it? Mind control? Yeah, he did have that whole thing going for him. True. But, just saying. He also may have read a book. Like, The Secret Book of Secrets. I hate that book. <laughs> I have eight copies. Some signed by the original author? Or who you think is the original author. Doctor Secrets? Ooh. Anyway, should we, uh... Should we come in, or would you like us to wait out here? Very well. Follow. She turns around and gestures imperiously and heads inside. Kane right. kind of snags Amic's arm before they go in. Arrested will stealth walk after her. <laughs> I'll okay. just uh, look over to Kaneth and lower my voice she to say is yes. Off her rocker. Oh, good. I'll keep that in mind. Good to good eyes. I'll have to That's be very careful. I'll uh, pass this on to Niram by way of just sort of making a gesture that he should recognize from our travels together. The, the finger pointed his temple going around in a circle? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Niram communicates back in his uh, complex and quite intricate grunt language. Grunt. Mm hmm. Hmm. Meanwhile, Rolan just whispers to Arresta, I bet she's wild in the sack. <laughs> what does Arresta think of that? I think Coast snuck AFK on us. Oh, well. That's all right. What do we find inside the Imperial Palace of Grey Warden Orlesians? Well, you're in the Imperial Palace, where what the Warden Commander's doing there, you don't know specifically. But apparently she's in good with the Empress. Um, is opulent luxury. Oh, good. It makes... The Imperial Palace makes the palace in Denerim look like the hovel you were hiding out in. In the <laughs> See, Roland says and gestures. 
Even the gold trim has gold trim. I've seen bigger. <laughs> That's very nice. You must be uh, proud of the industry of of your people to produce such a thing. All of this is, all of this is dross. Alicia says back over her shoulder. Oh well, I wouldn't know. I, I'm just a country bumpkin myself. I'm just a simple country chicken. <laughs> Book <-a -mark! laughs> She leads you off to a side wing of the palace that seems to have been appropriated by the wardens. The torture wing. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we'll kill you slowly. That'll be fun. So, is Blacktail here? Are can you I... asking? No. Or are you just, looking? I'm asking. Can I like? Can I smell him? Can I sense him? No. Does my you know new type sense ping? No. <laughs> new no. type no. has. I think I, your soul is still burning by gravity. Colonel Pesha, I'm on this guy. I, I think I'm the only one that has the new type ability for that. None of you have that ability. If any of us I, do, it's obviously the mage. Come on. Oresta has it if new types were made out of rock. <laughs> you don't have rock sense. You're not a Dungeons and Dragons dwarf. Yeah, but, you've just he, got, he's you've got, just got stone vision. thing. You always know which way is north. <laughs> All I meant was that I was the only one that took sense dark spawn. That wouldn't help. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going off on this lady? No. She's a different kind of crazy. Crazy like a black-tailed fox. Ooh. So where does she take us? Well, now it is going to be the torture room. No. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, basically, yeah, she, there's like a side wing that she seems to have appropriated. In the queue, um, we call it the tickle room. There's a few, <laughs> there's a few wall hangings in, in Grey Warden colors, basically. If you require equipment, we have some available. You can have yourselves outfitted with more suitable garb. Thank you, it'll be quite useful for us. No, Amek, you don't need fancy robes. You look fine in your shitty robes. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Arresta, but I think I'd prefer to have a more official raiment. I don't know. You look like Blacktail, and then I'll try to shank you. Amek clears his throat. He attempts to clear his throat exactly as Amek, as Arresta says Blacktail. Look, I'm trying to say the name Blacktail. 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 And he starts having an actual coughing fit. Arresta gets confused and also starts clearing his throat. <laughs> How does our guide react? Um, she kind of. Glance, looks back at you guys like kind of like you know you were goofing around in class and the teacher is pretty strict gets pissed off at you oh the <laughs> Kata takes a step away from them she's gonna spank our bottoms later Amic <laughs> uh, I hope not my bones will break my coccyx <laughs> it'll be a cock sound and <laughs> she's down <laughs> uh, Hakox X. So she doesn't seem to trigger on that. Um, she just kind of. She doesn't seem to now. Alright. Well, I'm going to go and get myself a. a, a real Grey Warden robe <laughs> so that I don't look quite so. Uh, 
poor. Clown-like? Shitty! Yeah, <laughs> any of those adjectives. <laughs> I'd like the to get some is stuff, shitty. too. It's a dwarven word! Oh, well, thank you for expanding my lexicon.